Hello everyone, in this video, we will take a look at the Simplex 4009 Truler Adjustable Controller. First produced in the early 2000s, the Truler Adjustable Controller is a standalone panel for operation of addressable notification appliances. Each controller contains three SLC loops, with a maximum of 63 devices per loop. Up to 189 adjustable signals can be connected to a single controller. The controller can be connected to a host fire alarm panel via hardwired inputs, IDNet or RUI communications. So let's jump right into this. For this demo setup, we have five adjustable signals. From left to right, we have a 49AV horn strobe, a 49VO strobe, a 49906-9230 horn strobe, a 49901-9850 horn, and a 49903-9450 horn strobe. Let's begin by activating the signals via hardwired control. All audible signals are coded to march time. Now let's connect the controller to a 4010 fire alarm panel. There's a few devices on the 4010, a 499 9001 pulse station, a 498 9757 smoke detector, and a 498 9710 smoke detector. There's also a 2904 light connected to a conventional signal circuit. Let's demonstrate this system in walk test, then in full alarm. And that concludes this demonstration. 
Now let's take a look at what's inside the Truler Adjustment Controller. The controller's layout is very similar to the 4009 IDNet NAC extender. On the right is the primary transformer. An optional IDNet repeater or fiber optic receiver can be mounted above the transformer. Looking at the main board, at the top left are the three SLC loops for adjustable signals. Each loop is Class B, but a Class A adapter can be installed for all three circuits. The large terminals on the left are for 24 volt auxiliary power. The smaller terminals on the bottom left are the dual NAC inputs for hardwired control, and the terminals on the top right are the RUI and ID NAC connections. Near the center are a set of yellow LEDs to indicate trouble conditions on the controller. With IDNet and RUI communications, troubles are also sent to the host panel. There are five sets of dip switches for configuring the Truler Adjustable Controller. The three sets on the left indicate the number of devices for each loop, while the two sets on the right are for hardware and software configuration. The left side dip switches are for hardware changes, such as device testing, optional card installation, communication type, device LED blink, and audible signal volume. The right side switches depend on the communication type. For hardware control, these dip switches control strobe flash rate, audible signal coding, and input mapping. Strobes can be set to flash once per second or at temporal coding. Audible signals can be set to steady, temporal, fast march, or march time codings. With IDNet or RUI control, the dip switches set the numeric address of the controller. With hardwired control, up to four controllers can be connected to a single pair of dual inputs typically conventional signal circuits from the host panel. All troubles in this configuration are indicated with an open circuit on the inputs. IDNet communication is exclusive to the 4010, with a maximum of five controllers per panel. The 4010 can control each SLC loop individually, and troubles down to loop level are reported to the panel. RUI communication provides the largest flexibility and is used on the 4020, 4100+, 4100U, 4010ES and 4100ES panels. In this configuration, each device in the 4S9 can be individually controlled and grouped into virtual NACs. Troubles can be reported down to device level with a maximum of 20 controllers per RUI circuit. The Truler Adjustable Controller was originally designed for older true NAC adjustable signals, such as the 4903 9450. It also supports newer Truler ES signals, like the 49AV, but with limited functionality. In either case, the controller is intended for horns, strobes, and horn strobes only. Unlike conventional signal circuits, each device on an SLC has its own address, receiving power, communication, and strobe synchronization from a single pair of wires. Each device can be controlled by the 4009 or from the host panel. And that's it. The 4009 Truler Adjustable Controller has been largely replaced with IDNAC signaling on the newer ES series panels. However, it remains the most accessible method of controlling adjustable notification appliances. With hardwired inputs, the controller can be used with virtually any fire alarm panel with DC signal circuits. In any case, if you have any questions or comments on the Truler Adjustable Controller, feel free to post them below. But until next time, have a nice day.